In today's video, I will be creating a look with this beautiful palette from Melt Cosmetics. This is the Amore e Mariposa palette. And this is my monthly collaboration with Andy from Andy Does Stuff. We each chose each other's shades to use. I have already done my base face, primed my eyes. Let's get right into it. Hey, howdy, hey, y'all. Leanna here. I am so excited to finally be using this palette again. I have only used it once. It is such a beautiful palette. I love Melt Cosmetics Formula. Andy picked all of my shades. Whoo, girl. <laughs> what did you do? I'm not sure. I will put a picture here of the shades that she chose for me. The first shade that I'm going to use is this one. I'm going to use that as my transition shade. And that shade is called Te Adora, which means I adore, I believe. I have not brushed up on my Spanish in quite some times. Sometimes. Sometime I used to speak Spanish quite frequently, actually. I worked in a little country store and had a lot of Hispanic people, Spanish-speaking people that would come in to the store and they would ask me, Donde esta la leche? And I was like, what? So I had to learn <laughs> how to speak a little bit of Spanish so that when they asked me for things, I knew what to tell them. It was actually quite fun because they would point at an item and tell me what the word for that item was in Spanish, and I would tell them what the word was in English. So they could come ask me things in Spanish, but I would make them also tell me how to say that in English. So, anyway, just a little bit of fun trivia about how I learned how to speak Spanish. So, if you've noticed, my background has changed. I'll give you a little life update. I'm sure Andy won't mind if I do a life update in our collab video. Before I do, though, because I, I do have a lot of new subscribers. I am really liking this color. This is a very shade. It's a color, but it's a shade. This is a very, very nice shade. And you see how easy it's blending out? It's blending out beautifully. Anyway, my background has changed. My whole entire life has changed. Everything. Everything, <laughs> everything has changed. So I am still filming in, in my little studio, my little YouTube makeup room art studio. However, I was filming on that side of the room. That wall over there was where the shelf was. And that window right there was on this side of me. Now, I have a window still on that side of me, but now over there where my background used to be is where my bed is. So this is now also my bedroom because, drum roll please, my children have moved in with me. So I have my my son, Christopher, who y'all know, if you watch the end of my videos, I give him a crazy makeup tip at the end of each video. The next shade that I'm going to use is this shade right here, and this is Mensaje. I think that that's message. I think. And where am I going to put that? I think that I will put that in my crease. So Christopher is now living with me. If, if you did not know, my children and my granddaughter lived in Virginia, which is where I'm from. I live in Missouri. So they were living in Virginia and they moved here to Missouri the 18th of 
March because we're in April. So my son Christopher, my daughter Brandy, and my granddaughter Kyrie who just turned 13. So that's three additional people in my little two-bedroom apartment. So I moved my bedroom in here so that Kyrie and Brandy could have my bedroom. And Christopher, that's a really pretty color too. Christopher is sleeping in the living room. We put a little twin bed in there for him and he is camped out in the living room. So that's the reason why my background is different. I, I don't have it quite situated. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it this way. I don't know what I'm doing. So far, I don't like it. I don't like that you can see the shelf over here. I know that y'all don't care, but I do. And I don't like that I'm not in the center of my shelf, which I mean, really in the grand scheme of things when i'm laying on my deathbed am i gonna lay there and go oh i wasn't in the center of the shelf no i'm not i am not going to give two you know what's about that all right what's my next shade my next shade is called maria and that is the shade right here and I'm going to put that in my outer corner. Oh, that's pretty. So trying to fit three more people has been a challenge. And that's why I have been so MIA on YouTube. Because we had to do a lot of moving things around. Figuring out where to put things. Figuring out which of their things we were going to put in the apartment and what was gonna go in storage. Brandy had to get Kyrie registered for school. And you know that can be nerve wracking for a 12, 13 year old to move somewhere completely new and you've been in school with the same kids your whole life and now you have to go to a new school and start all over, so. But she's adjusting well She's doing really well. It was nice to have her here for her 13th birthday. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and get a little bit of that to go in my crease, I think. And so some of you, that is just, that is fading away, blending away to nothing, isn't it? So some of you may know that I am also extremely short-handed at work. And so, of course, when they got here, I offered them both a job. <laughs> so they are both working out at the resort in my security department, which is nice. They're both doing a good job there. So yes, everything, everything has completely changed. And you will probably see this madness evolve and grow as I figure out what exactly it is that I want to do with that. And Christopher is already asking me when we're going to do a Mass Monday video. So he will be showing up in some of my videos and I'm hoping that my daughter will show up in some of them as well. That looks really patchy, doesn't it? Mm. That looks terrible. We're going to trust the process and see what happens. Sometimes Melt's shadows can be a little powdery and kind of dry. And my eyes right now are very dry because... This allergy season has been really hard on me this year. I have been really struggling. I don't know if you can hear how deep my voice is right now, but I'm back to kind of sounding like Leroy. So I'm going to leave that alone because that's looking like a hot mess, and I'm going to go into this green, which is my next shade, and that is Sentimentos. 
sentiments, I think is what that is. And I am going to, I don't have a shimmer. Andy did say that we could pick another color, so if I want to add a shimmer, I can. What brush am I going to use? Let's use that same. That's a pretty color. And I'm going to put that in the center. So along with everything going on at home, and, you know, both of them being new to the resort, so there's training and stuff involved there. But then they got here the fifth, the 18th of March, which was on a Saturday. And Sunday, while we were, I was off. I'm off on Sundays and Mondays while we were trying to get things unpacked and put away and figured out. I got a phone call that there was a fire at work. <laughs> So I had to drop everything and run to work. One of our condo buildings had caught on fire and was a total loss. We lost eight condos in that building. So that was very, very heartbreaking to have that happen. And funny story, when I went out there to look at the, I mean, the fire was still in progress when I went out there. The fire department was there. The whole nine yards. I had on my house shoes. <laughs> I went out there in my house shoes. I didn't have on any makeup. I had not combed my hair. My hair was turned up in a ponytail. And one of my employees said, if I had not seen you in your car, I would have no idea who you are because you do not look anything like you normally do. And I was like, yeah, well, you know, I had to hurry up and get here, so I'm going to go back into that mensaje color because I've kind of lost that and blend it into this purple, maroon, whatever color that is, shade, shade, it's a shade. Just kind of blend that out a little bit. That's better. So that's ongoing. They're investigating that to find out what happened and, you know, insurance and all the things. And, you know, there's been a lot, a lot going on. And Chris and Brandy were roommates together in Virginia, so they only had one vehicle. So figuring out the whole vehicle situation and how to get everybody back and forth to work and, you know, all the things. This looks off to me, but my lighting is, is a little off, so I'm not sure. This side looks like it needs to be blended a little bit more. You know, once you do lashes and all of that stuff, it just brings the whole thing together. All right, let's see if we can find a shimmer shimmer in here that we can put. Do I want to go with tequila or sagrado? Sagrado? Which one do I want to do? I think I'm going to go with that tequila, which is that gold color. Just needs a little bit of something, something, a little shimmer, a little sparkle. I feel like I'm losing some of that green. Let's tap a little bit of that back on there. Kind of blend that in. Everybody that I have watched that has used this palette really loves this palette. And I'm just finding that I'm not all that crazy about it. I don't know if it's just me. I feel like sometimes not every eyeshadow palette will work, you know, for everybody. My daughter has this palette and she loves it. But I'm just a little underwhelmed. 
I have another shade to use, and that is this one right here, which is Noob. Right here, that purple. I'm going to run some of that under my eye, I think. See, they just look patchy on me. I don't, I don't know, y'all. Do y'all have this palette? Let me know in the comments. If you have this palette and if you like it. Maybe I should put some of that in my outer corner. <laughs> Look at the fallout. Okay, that looks better. That's another thing, too. When you're putting on your makeup, your shade placement can make a huge difference, too. And fallout never bothers me, because you can just sweep it away. The other thing that will have a great impact, a huge impact on your look are your brushes, too. And I'm not using my normal brushes, so that could also, because this is just looking like a hot mess. But just trust the process and keep trying. Okay, that's a little bit better. I changed up my brush. Of course, the shade I put under it is completely gone, but... Alright, so I'm going to clean this up, put on my mascara, do a lip, and I'll be right back. And so this is the final look, and I don't like it. <laughs> Not every day is a perfect makeup day. I don't care for it. This is a very pretty palette. I don't know if I'm just having an off day. I use the same eye primer that I always use, my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I, maybe this is just not the palette for me. I am going to try it again and see what happens because like I said, everybody loves this palette, but it just seems very patchy to me, but it could be me. It could be the the eye primer. It could be the brushes I used. I will try it again, but this is the best I could do, and I kept playing with it and playing with it, and then I had to stop because I was like, it's not turning out the way I wanted to. Other products that I used, I used my e.l.f. Halo Glow, my Maybelline instant age rewind eraser foundation which i'm really liking my lys concealer for under my eyes i use this ace beauté ultimate oh that's the bad thing about this type of packaging it gets very dirty but this is the ultimate sculpt face palette and i did i did like that I used my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow over top of that Ace Beauté palette. The BH Cosmetics Chocolate Orange Truffle. I used this shade. I am really liking that shade. And I used my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish face powder, which I am also really liking. And I used my e.l.f. setting spray. I used my MAC Magic Extension Mascara. And I used this, what is this? This is Maybelline Ultimate Lip Crayon. I think this is a lip crayon. And it is in the shade More Truffle, I think. If I, You can barely see it to read it. But So this is my completed look with the shades that Andy gave me with the Melt Cosmetics Amore e Mariposa palette. Which... 
I am not loving at the moment. <laughs> Andy's link will be down below. I know that most of you know who Andy is. She is this close to reaching 1,000 subscribers. Like, she is right there. So if any of you are not subscribed to Andy, please go watch her video. She created a phenomenal look. She looks absolutely stunning. Andy is amazing. So go watch her video, and if you like her content, subscribe to her and let's push her over a thousand because not only is she an amazing content creator, she is an amazing human being, and I absolutely adore her. So thanks so much for hanging out with me and watching me create this disaster of an eye. <laughs> Before you go check out Andy's video, make sure you show that like button some love. And as always, I'd like to remind you that makeup is meant to enhance the natural beauty that you already are. And we are all beautiful at any age and any size. Find something to be grateful for today. Pull your makeup out and play with it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Christopher, do you ever have one of those bad makeup days? What do you do? Give your mama some tips. Now that you're sleeping in my living room, just come on in here and tell me how to fiss it. Okay? Mama loves you, boo.